थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग अस ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ 420 ग्राम्स मैं और सिद्धांत आज दो किरदार नहीं है इस नए एपिसोड में इनफैक्ट हमारा चार किरदार है एंड वील ब्रिंग देम टू यू इन टू पार्ट्स हम बात किस बीच की किस चीज की कर रहे हैं वी टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग दैट रिसेंटली केम अप इन द एआईएफएफ टेक्निकल कमेटी uh that is the player of indian origin and if you are to go by jaydeep basu jaydeep basu's word who's been covering indian football for a long time to ye player of indian origin ki jo baat hai bhai har 5 year ke cycle pe aata hai kyunki har 5 year ke cycle pe coach bhi to badalta hai apna to naya coach aata hai wo bhi kehta hai mere ko player of indian origin do kyunki mere paas zyada striker wiker hai nahi bahar ladkon ko khelne ko mil raha hai yahan pe hamare ladkon ko khelne ko nahi mil raha so today we've got two people who can sort of shed light on this debate one who was very close uh to of course foregoing his passport and then joining the indian national team becoming an indian citizen and the other who's of course been a national team player for the last 12 years former india captain and he's an absolute legend renedi singh bhai sabse pehle uh, kis se baat uh, michael chopra ha ha to pehle baat karte hain michael chopra se jo actually ek candidate the kafi strong candidate the jinko national team 2006 se the way follow kar rahi thi right aur Uh, why we are talking to him first is because ये थोड़ा practical elements भी हमें बताएंगे कि क्या क्या बाधाएं हैं uh, in terms of foreign players or be- citizens of other countries who may have Indian uh, grandparents or parents or maybe first generation immigrants who want to play for India. so एक तो है हाँ मजा मजा आ गया है तो एक तो है कि scene क्या है right हम्म hmm. और hmm. इसके लिए आई I मीन mean, जो होना चाहिए या सिर्फ अगर फुटबॉल के परस्पेक्टिव से देखा जाए तो जो होना चाहिए और वाइडर जो कंट्री के लिए इम्प्लीकेशन है बिकॉज ऑफ लेबर ऑन ऑल वो सब उस उस हम वाइडर चक्कर में अभी नहीं पढ़ रहे हैं सिर्फ फुटबॉल के नजरिए से हम देखना चाह रहे हैं कि नेशनल टीम पे क्या इम्पैक्ट पड़ेगा अगर आप सम हाउ मैजिकली अलाउ कर दें प्लेयर्स ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन को इंडिया के लिए खेलने ठीक है एंड दिस देन द मेनी देयर मेनी वाइडर इंप्लीकेशन इंक्लूडिंग व्हाट हैपेंस विद अदर स्पोर्ट्स राइट बिकॉज़ सिमिलर टू फुटबॉल देयर मे बी लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल टेनिस वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन गोल्फ ऑल ऑफ दिस ओलंपिक डिसिप्लिन्स वेयर देयर आर इंडियन ओरिजिन डायस्पोरा पीपल इन अमेरिका इन यूरोप ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड हु आर इन्वॉल्वड विद स्पोर्ट एंड हु मे और मे नॉट हैव बेटर फैसिलिटीज दैट अलाउ देम टू कंपीट एट अ हायर लेवल राइट So let's let's uh, yeah let's get straight into that chat that we had with uh, Michael Chopra, who of course has played for England uh, from under 16 up to under 20 level. He was uh, he played for Newcastle United. He's played for Cardiff, and of course he's played in the Indian Super League as well. Uh, so he's had a wide range of experience. And let's see what his take is on the whole subject. Uh, Michael, the the reason actually we got in touch was because uh, once again. After a five-year cycle, the Blair of Indian origin debate has come up uh, for discussion, and it keeps coming up. Like you know, people who are part of the show and who've been following Indian football for a while, they're saying it comes up pretty much every five years. A new coach comes in, he sees he doesn't have striking options, he doesn't have an average goal scorer, so he says, "Why can't I tap into that huge Indian diaspora uh, outside playing in Europe and so on?" But just, just particularly talking about your case first, how close were you uh, to actually playing for India? I I I think I was pretty close. Um I I'm going back to 2011 I think it was when I first went to watch India play in Dubai when I first got my OCI card. Um and I went over there met the team and everything. I I had my sets on playing for India in 2011. I got my OCI card and even back then I was getting told yeah the rules have changed. POIs or CIs will be allowed to play for India, and Indian nation will will, will climb up the FIFA rankings. And nine years on, we're in the same situation. Yeah. Um, every coach that comes in, they they think India's a, a good football nation. Uh, they have a lot of people and a lot of population and people playing the sport, the game, and then they realise that the standard's not good enough. um so then they have to turn to what they're doing now um where they're trying to get the government and the ministers to allow PUIs and OCIs to to play football for India because look why is it every other country can have a, an OCI and a PUI playing for them but why is India the only exception that don't allow it if they want football to grow IMG and Uh, AIFF, 
they've got they've got to change the rules. Do you know what I mean? And you, you look in England, the I'll go back to when I was playing. You had Neil Taylor who's playing who's playing for Aston Villa now. Mm. He was at Swansea at the time, and he's he's playing for Wales. He could have he could have played for it. Yeah, he's playing for Colcutta. You look at Jan uh, Danda uh, playing for Swansea now. Another player. You look at Danny Bat centre half. Uh, look, there's the, the boy playing for Bayern Munich as well. Um, yeah, Sir Greece. And I spoke to him about it, and he's exactly the same. Why why don't they not change the rules? Look, if India want to improve football, they've got to let other people who other players who are playing in Europe who are getting coached better than what Indians are getting coached on a regular basis. And it's the only team, only way the the national team will, will become better because. In my eyes, yeah, they did take probably five steps forward. But mm. look at the situation they're in now, and they're pretty much taking a lot of steps back, and they need to change that fast. Uh, a couple of things I want to ask you, uh, Chop. One is, uh, what sort of impact does the success, and, and as someone who's grown up in England, uh, obviously dreaming of and, and probably supporting England in international competitions, uh, how much of a fillip or a boost does it give to uh, football in a country when the national team does well? Well, you just need to look at when India had the Under-17 World Cup and you could see the the population, everyone come together. And that's what football does, that's what cricket does. It brings people together. And you're talking about kids that have never played realistically a professional football match in a proper league. These are kids that have, have been coached and been picked up off the street and, and, and been chucked into a major tournament. And I, I was I was in India at the time and, and watching the games and I, I could really see a big sense of, well, Indian football needs to grow now. This is it. We've had the World Cup. Let's really kick on and, and, and push and try and make the national team as good as it is as good as it can be and it was great that they broke into the top 100 um, obviously in my eyes they broke in because they were playing so-called weaker teams if you want to break in you've got to be playing the best team the only mm-hmm. way you're going to improve you play the best team you're going to improve it's, it's what you strive for and if you want to achieve and you want to become better and obviously when they play Thailand and stuff like that I know the Thai league and, and it's a good competitive league and they, they demolished Thailand, uh, and it just shows you that they have got the ability, but they need it done right. Um, but going back to your question, it's massive for the country. Um, look at when India won the World Cup, how many people follow India and, and, and stuff like that in the cricket. Um, why, why, why? I still say the question: Why can't football be as big as cricket in India? And it, it can't be. It just needs to be done right. Uh, Michael, if I could just go back uh, to the time when you were trying, uh, of course, in 2011, uh, to the origins of that uh, sort of decision of wanting to play for India. Uh, because right now, whenever you talk to the federation and whoever is running football in this country, they say it's a government decision. So it's out of our hands, truth be told. But when you did, of course, land up in 2011, as far as the officials were concerned and uh, people around the team were concerned, were they very welcoming of you wanting to come and play for India? Yeah, the, yeah obviously. Um... I was a player that had been playing in the Premier League and I was a player that was playing in the Championship and I was scoring goals in the Championship. And if I... You, if you I was were at for it, Cardiff at the time, right? Yeah, I was at Cardiff at the time, yeah. Um, if I had the chance to play for India then, it would, it would be massive for the for the nation and, and yeah. for the players. Um, and they they welcomed me with, with open arms and I'm talking about your Renity Sings and your, your Sunil Chatteries, they were, were just young boys, do you know what I mean? And, and things like that. I've got pictures of me and Sunil and, and stuff like that. And you look back and I think, wow, look how long, young we both look. If only the rules had a change, we could have actually played together. Um, but no, they were, everyone had welcomed me. Um, obviously, I'm Indian, do you know what I mean? So if they didn't welcome me, then it, it looks kind of bad on them. But they do have to change the rules. I'm pretty sure um, back in the day, I'm pretty sure they allowed a tennis player um, to play in a major tournament under an OCI or a POI. So why is it that they don't allow footballers? Is it 
my understanding and why they won't allow it is because these probably think that they've got enough good Indian talent in the country. And why should they have to look at, like myself, I'll go back to like myself, if, I, if, if they didn't welcome me, why would they need a Michael Chopra that had played for England in the 16s up to 21s for them to come? Because he's not good enough for the England national team. Why should we have him coming into our Indian setup and, and things like that? Look, there's a lot of politics that goes on in India and, and yeah. these things come up and, and things like that. And yeah, but he, he didn't do this and he didn't do that and that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, you've got to think about what's best for the country. And if you want the country to to be big in, in football, then you've got to, you've got to allow it. And I hopefully, with uh, with a backing from the, the manager and the AIF and the ministers, then they can, they can get it all changed. But it's a big if. Yeah. Actually, you know, the, the reason this whole PIO debate started is because the coach eventually went and told the federation that I don't have striking options. A, uh, your top players are not getting more than 18, 20 games in an entire season. So we need to start looking outside as well. Uh, but then the one argument that's always given is if you open it up, uh, should there be a, a barometer? Say, say like there's a Michael Chopra who's played the premiership. So that is top level football, right? So you only make an exception for top-level footballers because then if you open it up for everyone, anyone who's playing in lower leagues in Europe could also then try coming here. But then the flip side is your boys here in India might not then get an opportunity to play for the Indian team. I think, looking at that question, I think you look at the, the manager of the Indian national team now, uh, obviously they achieved a lot in the game, uh, playing in the UK and stuff like that. If you then limit it to just Premier League or Championship players, I think that would be kind of tough. Um, obviously, if you look at a League Two player or a National League player in the UK, they wouldn't really be good enough to play for the international team. Uh, so in my eyes, you wouldn't need to, to have a rule where you can only play for India if you're in one of the top leagues. I think it's open for, for everything, everyone. And then it's down to the manager to say, right, is this boy good enough or, or not? Because there's some players in the lower leagues in the UK that are actually good enough, but they don't really get a chance. Um, football in England in, in England is very tough. Um, but I keep going on that the manager needs help. And you look at the strikers India have got, and obviously Sunil, but Sunil's coming to the, to the end of his career. And then you've got PG who pretty much missed all the season through injury. So you look to who else is going to score your goals and it, it, it's worrying, do you know what I mean? So I think that's why the question being asked again and look, if you, you've got to back the manager. Um, if, if he sees it and he's seen a lot of games and played in a lot of big games in, in Europe, then there's obviously a, a big question and no matter if he leaves the job and, or gets sacked and another manager comes in, They'll just be back to square one. They'll just be saying the same thing. So yeah. until they fully uh, understand and, and say what's going to happen instead of just having it in open air and, yeah, it might happen or not, it either happens or it doesn't. And then that's it. There's no question. Nobody asks any more questions. Yeah, fair, yeah, fair enough. And in any case, like, I mean, like Pandit was saying, a lot of that is out of our hands because... I don't think, I don't, not sure. I mean, overall rules, a lot of rules, labor law, etc., etc., has to change. A lot of this is also mutual, right? Uh, similar difficulties are faced by, let's say, non European players when they try to go to Europe as well. Because there are certain caps, certain restrictions in place. And I think, as far as the PIO rule itself is concerned and eligibility, I think this might have been one of your concerns as well. That, like, you shouldn't be if you want the minute you're forced into a situation where you give up have to give up your passport it becomes a problem right well i go back to last time i played in india was in 2016 i think and i pretty i was 90 percent done on giving up my english passport and getting an indian passport right and mm -hmm. I went through lawyers in India to, to push it. Um, I had the backing of Sachin and his team um, trying to, to force me the passport through. And then it got to a stage where I have to live in the country for so many years yeah. before I can 
getting in the passport. And that is pretty much the only thing that stopped me getting an Indian passport. And looking back at it now, no disrespect to India, but it might have been a good thing because I probably only had one more year left of, of playing. And mm-hmm. for me to give up a British passport and get an Indian one, uh, just for one year's football, it might have sounded a bit crazy. Uh, but that's, that's the excitement and the ambition that I had. I was minded to send it and giving up my British passport to play for the country. But I, every time I go into India, I've got an OCI card. And realistically, it's just a, a lifetime visa. Uh, it also poses reverse challenges, right? Like, for example, a guy like Danny Bath, he's okay. Who currently wants to or is playing, or even yourself while you were at Cardiff, you were playing your club football in the UK, right? The minute you give up your British passport, then you have to you become a foreigner as far as your club side is concerned. And well, then, yeah, and you've got to get, then you have to get a work permit to yeah, yeah. to get back into the UK, know, okay. and then and then another question is India Indian players can't play in. In, in the UK because of the FIFA rankings. Banking, yeah. So the, the chances of you getting it, a work permit are uh, next to none. Yeah, and I, w- I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to play in the UK as well because when India went India, realistically, I'm never going to be in the top 50. Yeah. Um, so you look at having an OCI card. Having an OCI card is to be a passport. You're still classed as an Indian citizen, but you've still got your UK passport. It's just you've got heritage in, in India and, and family members that are, are Indian and they they want to do them proud. So why, why not allow it? It's just, it's just a crazy decision what, what goes on, do you know what I mean? And, mm. and I wouldn't say it needs to change that much because when I came into India on my OCI card, it's, it's just a lifetime visa. You don't, you don't have to leave the country and that sort of thing. You can stay. You still pay taxes in India. Um, but then... I can go back to England whenever I want, and it's, there's no there's no harm. Do you know what I mean? And for me, that's the best thing to do. If you have an OCI card, you can play. You can play for the country. It's, it's the easiest thing to, to do. I've always said the Indian players, um, the not Premier League class, not Championship. I would say League One in England. They could probably play. Some of them could play in that league. Uh, when I first came to India, they were technically very poor. They didn't care about football as much. They lose the ball and players were laughing. It didn't hurt them enough when they give the ball away. Look, when you lose the ball, you should be absolutely devastated because you're not going to get the ball back and your team could lose a goal. And it was, it was trying to drill it into the players that you, you keep the ball and you make the other opposition work and, and that sort of thing. And I've seen the, the, the impact of and seen the rise of Indian footballers. Um, I see it from the under-17 national team. The players, Some of the players that played then are actually good enough to, to go and play in Europe. Obviously, one of them has done that. Uh, but I believe there's there's a, a couple more that could do that. But they've got to have belief in themselves. And then another thing is, Indian footballers are never going to get paid what they get paid in India when they go to, to India. And I have spoke to one Indian international who plays on the national team now and I said to him, look, I can get you to play in Europe but you won't get the money you earn in India and he just said no. And I said, well, why don't you not want to try and prove yourself yeah. in Europe and then make a name for yourself, be a role model for all Indians to follow you and then eventually the money you have one come. season, two gun season, the money will come. Mm. And he just said, no, I need to look after my family in India. And I'm, you can't argue with that but it just shows you the mentality of, of, of some Indian players that don't want to go out of the comfort zone. If I can ask, how old was this player? Uh, Say that again? How old was this player at the time? Uh, the player, probably 25 to 30. Yeah. I'll tell, I'll tell you the name afterwards. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, but, but Michael, you know, it, it's bizarre because we no, have this conversation a, around sorry, Udanta sorry. Singh as I, well. The, 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 just to finish that bit, like literally if you say that you're picking a squad of whatever, 23, yeah? Currently, if you have access to pick anyone that has Indian origin, of course, I, I know you haven't done like 
global scouting on this and yeah. and therefore you can't give us a rate this thing but but just on average if you were to say given your knowledge of how many indians there are in different parts and how many of them are involved in football playing football what sort of break up would there be between india based players and foreign based players in your 23 it's hard. it's hard because i know the foreign players get coached better yeah yeah, uh, yeah. no it's fair it's, so just your I, your your assessment based so on i i would try and pick as many foreign indians as possible because i know the mentality that they come through as a kid being playing football from a very young age mm. um when you play football at a young age you play in on uh, grassroots football on a regular basis. Mm. Uh you're playing in tournaments on a regular basis so you 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 learn in the winning mentality. Um uh, but then you look at players like Sandish and Sunil who are are, are totally different so you you would you would include them as well because they're sure. a different breed and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um so I I would say me from when I've been in India I would probably pick out of 23 players I would probably pick probably six or seven players from from India to to play in my team of 23 uh or Indian Indian origin players and yeah it's disappointing but that's that's how Indian football is at this moment in time so that's so reality. And, yeah and then taking forward on that that means you have to pick 15 16 foreign based players so yeah. in your opinion uh, what you've seen of football uh, across does that pool exist that means if you have to have 15 16 players they have to be good enough to sort of be like better than anyone in, in india at the moment i w- i would say yeah you, you, they've got they've got to be better do you know what i mean it's and i believe that they are better uh, so these players this pool exists yeah definitely exists yeah i i know it exists because i've spoke to clubs who have got young indian players in academies and and that sort of thing and There's a lot of Indian players. It's mm. just nobody knows about it. Mm. And mm. hopefully, when this rule, hopefully, if the rule changes, you'll you, you'll see how many players come out and, and want to play for the country, and you'll see a big difference. Quite just 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 one final final question, Michael. Yeah. Actually, because of that point you brought up, uh, it's like when we guys see Udanta Singh playing, and he yeah. uh, brings you uh, more frustration than joy. because you know you see here's a player who's got talent who's got speed but more often than not it's inconsistency that is dominating his game and then one of the things we say why is this kid not trying to go outside because here he's definitely the fastest kid mm-hmm. so here's the big daddy here and he's always running he's running against players mm-hmm. no one's been able to take him down go to europe you'll play against tougher players even if you can't take them on you can't play at least you'll get that mentality that if i lose the ball my teammates are going to blast the shit out of me yeah, yeah. I think well like I said it's it's a comfort zone thing isn't it you they, a lot of indian players are happy playing in india they get they're, they're superstars in india do you know what i mean if they come out of india they're not superstars it's a totally different level for them they've got to learn a new culture they've got to learn a new language uh, the money's not as great but on the other hand they will become better players because they're going to be playing with better players they're going to be coached by a better coach as well mm. so my argument is you've got you've got to you, you've got to take you 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 only get one chance to live and you've got to take the chance uh it doesn't you won't get the chance of, of getting asked to play in europe more than once and yeah. when that chance comes along indian players you've got to take it you've got to grab it with both hands and say yeah i'm good enough and i've got a lot of belief in my ability that i can play in the german league or or the spanish league or the dutch league they've got they've got to do it and if you're not good enough they'll always come back to india yeah. they can always come back to india and play they're not no club in india is going to say no you're not good enough mm-hmm. because they are good enough to leave the country so if they're not good enough in europe then at least they've given a chance and they can come back a bit like what sunil done when he went to rangers he went to benfica he wasn't good enough so he's come back to india and he's a superstar at least fair fair play to him and he, he made the step and he he challenged himself and brought on a new challenge learned different cultures and and tried to fulfill his ambition of playing in Europe and the player he's a better just, player as well well exactly yeah because yeah, he was with, with, with players that you would you would dream about playing you you know what i mean you learn mm. new things mm. same with good breath for that matter yeah exactly yeah he's a he's a better goalkeeper because he was playing in, in Norway yeah and, and if you, if you're not if at the end of the day if you're not good enough 
or they, they don't want to renew your contract and you can't get another club, there's always an Indian club that'll, that'll bring you back to the country because you, you've you been there and done it and you're a good enough player to play in Europe, so you're good enough to play in, in India. Thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, no, no problem. Uh, yeah, so that, that was a good chat, man. And uh, Moti Moti Bath, yeah, from 2009 to 2010 to now, that we're in 2020. Now, we have to go to the OCI PIO player. No one uh, it's unlikely that a Danny Bath or a Satreet Singh and Neil Taylor are going to give up their passport and then come to India to play for the national team. Yeah, because you have to also look at it in the context of what their job is, which uh, you know earns them a living and all of that. So, if that player, as a domestic player, UK-based, for example, Danny Bath, ki, agar baat karin, baat ki baat. <laughs> so, Form mein, sir, aap, haan, baat hai. Good, good, sir. So, if you give up your British passport, then you can see that you can see that club team not going to be able Then he is uh, fighting for a spot in a foreign player quota as far as his local club is concerned. So, that presents very real and very practical issues. Apart from uh, the uh, broader issues that they have mobility, they have a lot of people who are in Europe. Southeast Asia, I have to go back to the bank and Indian passport. So, we have to go back to the bank. So, we have to go Right? Just purely, is, will he be able to continue to do his job? And the answer is currently no. No, no. Right? So, why would any of these guys be willing to come? Unless there is a proper structure and unless you can then find not just one or two, like an, an, an uh, Izumi Arata. Or an alone Michael Chopra doesn't make a, a 15 member, 18 member, 23 member squad. So you also have to do a wider s- scouting kind of scene, you know. And at the end of the day, which, which which is what something we keep coming back to, and we'll get into later because we've spoken with also former India captain Renvi Singh, who is running a, a football academy in Manipur and trying to develop players that will serve both Indian clubs as well as the national team in the future, right? So, what is the perspective that they bring into it and they look at it from, right? So, eventually the domestic structure will also have to catch up to what's happening in leagues abroad. And unless that happens, you will never be able to either create enough players who have Indian passports that are going and playing for big clubs, nor will you be able to attract foreign players to come in and then either play in clubs in India or even represent the national team if that becomes a possibility. Right. So, these are all issues. Hain. But apart from that, uh, se thoda baat karte hain aur let's figure out like some of the like perception issues also. If a foreign yeah. player is coming, like Zlata and suddenly is playing for India, what yeah. kind of impact does that have on the, uh, the 20 place. other guys who are already in the camp? Yeah. Renity, bhai. Good to see you on 420 grams. Uh, sir, we are going to be to get a little bit of 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 a a a Fit to grow up as always. Now, fit to keep it, but there is no way to do it. Siddhant, what do you think? He's making a dog, he's making a dog, he's making a dog. Really, actually, the reason why... Hmm. So, uh, before that, we talked Michael Chopra, se baat kari, someone you know really yeah. well, and uh, yeah. on and off the field. And uh, the, the topic is, of course, player of Indian origin. Because player of Indian origin ka topic has been left again. Every five years, there is a discussion of player of Indian origin. Ka ye discussion shuru ho jata hai. And yeah. Michael said that 2011 was the first time when he really made an approach uh, to joining the Indian team uh, yeah. when you guys were in Dubai. Uh, mm-hmm. First, I want to know what is the because one thing is player is coming from the outside, who is playing in the league. So, so the player, the coach, and the management would want someone like him to come in. But at yes. the end of the day, he will come in and taking one Indian player's place as well. So, from the team's perspective, what were you talking about when this player of Indian origin 
जो ये बातचीत शुरू हो जाती है नॉट जस्ट पर्टेन टू माइकल आई एम श्योर पहले भी होता होगा सो वॉट्स द हाउ डज द टीम द पर्सन हुज पार्ट ऑफ द टीम टेक दैट see uh, we as indian we know that we need to uh, have better players in the national team to beat the best player you you see in many many countries you see you go to singapore if you see qatar there are many other players who are foreign players who are playing you know getting a citizenship yes but when we play with the better teams we need that we we feel that we need good players so if we take uh, for example michael chopra michael chopra was doing really great and 2010 i think or 2009 just before the asia cup when we were touring 7 8 months the michael chopra he had come to see us he, he came uh, even from england he he came to qatar i think he went, no he came to dubai 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 yeah uh, to, to see to see one match i think he have seen one half and and we we were happy you know if he could have but then there was always this problem we knew that the government will not allow but i feel that if the the indian origin players are good enough then our indian player they should join but they have to be better so michael chopra i think it would have been the best if he could have joined and he tried after that also but uh, it, it didn't work out randy bhai fir to bhai wo box khul jayega na agar main matlab suppose main keh raha hu government ne allow kar diya aur aapke paas indian diaspora ke khiladi hain europe mein who are better trained uh, and who been getting better training from a young age let's admit it that's the real fact तो फिर ऐसा भी तो हो सकता है कि मतलब इंडियन डायस्पोरा के 11 के 11 खिलाड़ी आ सकते हैं तो फिर यहां के मतलब जो हमारे लड़के हैं फिर क्या होगा बट दे आर गोइंग टू प्ले फॉर द नेशनल टीम नो ऑफ कोर्स दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू प्ले हियर सो फॉरेनर्स एंड एंड पीआईओ व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस इज फॉरेनर्स आर के इंडियन टीम के लिए नहीं खेलता है दे कम हियर एंड दे टेक आवर आवर प्लेयर का स्पॉट लेके वो लोग अपना वापस चले जाते हैं एंड वी आर नॉट ग्रोइंग बट अगर हम लोग वो लोग को अलाउ करेगा तो दे विल बी प्लेइंग फॉर द नेशनल टीम एंड दे विल हेल्प नेशनल टीम प्ले बेटर if there is a better player so there are one or two players of course they, they can easily get in and i think we should and then it will be a challenge why not abhi agar dekhega to foreigners of course foreigners are playing there are good foreigners who we can learn from even in isl mm-hmm. not all the foreigners but there are foreigners who can learn from and that's how a lot of players have improved training day in day out playing week in week out so even the same here if michael chopra in those days if would have come in of course striking wise it will be it will be much better it would have been better but i'm sure there are few other players who are really really good and if they are ready to give up their citizenship and then play for the national team and it will on, only do good for india i feel yeah it's an important distinction that you make here really because also mm. uh, what we have to consider is the fact that while hum log bahar se baat kar rahe hain right to uh, coach ke perspective se dekha jaye तो पॉसिबल है कि हम ये कह रहे हैं कि अगर की रोल्स में हम फॉरेन प्लेयर्स हायर करें क्लब फुटबॉल में तो दैट डजेंट अलाउ इंडियंस टू प्ले इन दोज रोल्स बट एट द सेम टाइम फॉर क्लब्स आल्सो दोज प्लेयर्स आर हायर्ड फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक पर्पस व्हिच इज टू मेक द क्लब हेल्प द क्लब विन एंड हेल्प द वाइडर इको ऑफ द क्लब डिवेलप लाइक यूर सेंग सो इट्स नॉट दैट फॉरन प्लेयर जब क्लब में आते हैं तो उनसे कोई बात नहीं करता है क्योंकि उसने किसी इंडियन प्लेयर की नौकरी ले ली है अगर वो प्लेयर अच्छा प्लेयर हो तो उससे आप कुछ सीखेंगे ड्रेसिंग रूम में उसका इन्फ्लुएंस होगा लीडरशिप रोल या जो भी है डिपेंड्स फ्रॉम प्लेयर टू प्लेयर सेम थिंग अप्लाइज टू द नेशनल टीम लाइक 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 यू आर एंड इफ इफ इट लाइक यू लुक एट मेनी साइड्स अक्रॉस द टॉप टीम्स इन द वर्ल्ड स्पेशली साउथ अमेरिकन साइड्स यू विल फाइंड दैट ओवर मेनी इयर्स मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेयर्स कम फ्रॉम क्लब्स दैट आर बेस्ड इन यूरोप राइट so this is yeah. essentially an extension of that concept where mm-hmm. while your footballers may or may not have talent mm-hmm. they are learning from the coaching system the competitive system etc etc that mm-hmm. is in mm-hmm. the most developed football countries now unfortunately yes. india ke sath double sided problem hai ki today we are not either good enough to send our players abroad yeah nor are we like a attractive enough or nor is it possible actually because of the rules yes for foreign players to come and uh, play for india to hum dono side se thoda phase hue hain yeah yeah i can understand because we are in a process of of, of building our own players from the academy yes but then if there are one or two players who who are really good i think like i said that they should they should be allowed it will only help but not not uh, i think the they are cutting down on the isl player 
also. I think that if, that's what everyone is saying. I don't know if uh, the, both the parties are going to agree. But then if they, if they cut down on the players, then it will only help Indian players to play more matches. But here for the national team, I think it, it's a little different. You know, if this, if this one or two good players can come in mm. and help, I, I think it will be a great thing for football. Randy, I don't know about ISL, but I don't know about ISL. And one thing is that in Delhi, there is a area where I live in Sadaant, I live in Vasanthpur. There is a lot of people who are coming back to the Sweet Plan 1. We are coming back to our girls. I think, I think it's a good news for, 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 the, for the Indian players. Uh, I think five was a little too much. Of course, yes, every club wants to win, I can understand. But if you have to think a long term, I think Indian players have to come in, they have to play every match. If you are playing in ISL, I League, if you are on bench, then when he is going to improve. So I think it's a three. Yeah, it's, it's good. So at least I League. Yeah. एक सवाल hmm. पूछना है बिकॉज यू प्लेड फॉर सो लॉन्ग एंड यू है लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री विद द नेशनल टीम इन इन योर टाइम्स एंड आई एम नॉट टॉकउट माइकल चोपड़ा हाउ मेनी टाइम्स हैव प्लेयर ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन कम टू अ कैम्प एंड हैव दे बिन गुड इनफ हैव दे नॉट बिन गुड इनफ टू बी गिव अस अ फ्यू एग्जांपल्स माइकल चोपड़ा वाज द ओनली वन आई थिंक इन आवर टाइम आई थिंक सुखी सर का टाइम व्हेन वी व्हेन वी नो वन वाज देयर राइट सुखी सर का टाइम में I think there was one player when Contestine was there. He 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 came for the training. He came for the trial. He came for a two weeks of training. Hmm. But then, uh, honestly, uh, he wasn't as 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 good as, as Michael Chopra or, or or anyone. So so then then you see, you know, it's just because Indian origin ke liye bula ke jabardasti khelna. I think that's not right. But he has the the players who are, who we are bringing in has to be better than Indian current Indian players. Yeah. Yeah, so so I think in in my 12 years, I think my, the chances for signing was only Michael Chopra. Other than that, there were yeah, I think there were talks that Harmit Harmit Singh, uh, who who from playing for Norway. Mm. Uh, Harmit yeah, Singh. Yeah, yeah, Harmit Singh. Yeah. So he, but then I don't know if he, if he wasn't ready. I think he was playing for Norway then, but mm. I don't know if he was ready. But I, in last few months, I have read that he's ready to play, come and play in India and all. But in his prime he was not ready i can understand who will want to come and play for india in his prime right even michael yeah. chopra the same but michael chopra 2008 9 he was still good yeah so he would have but but yeah, like, in, like, in our like time he was saying when no. we were talking to him that at that time yeah. he was at cardiff yeah and scoring a lot of goals right yeah. so in terms of if you just look at the level of club football us time pe aap yeah. log kyun tour kar rahe the internationally we we we, we, we right? yeah And yeah. you didn't have we, that com- competitive uh, environment in India, therefore you had. So obviously he would have probably fit into the squad. Yeah. Plus the coach at the time, Bob Horton, was an English coach, or uh, like uh, vaguely English, uh, and therefore the philosophy with which they might have grown up would be similar. He would understand that he comes here and what all he brings to the system. But end of the day, uh, Randy, boy, we are talking about this, but. जो प्रैक्टिकल इसका एलिमेंट है कि एक प्लेयर को अपना पासपोर्ट गिव अप करना पड़ेगा टू प्ले फॉर इंडिया राइट व्हिच इज द रूल करेंटली दैट दैट्स व्हाट गेट्स इन द वे डू यू थिंक दैट गिवन दिस एनीवन लाइक ऑब्वियसली जो प्राइम में होगा वो इंग्लैंड के लिए खेलेगा या नॉर्वे के लिए खेलेगा या डेनमार्क के लिए खेलेगा बिकॉज उनके पास या वेल्स के लिए खेलेगा क्योंकि चांस है वर्ल्ड कप खेले लाइक नील टेलर की बात करते रहते हैं Right. Yeah, I I I can understand, brother. Up to ball, right? But when they when in their prime, they were not one. Even Michael Chopra, when we played under twenty, he was waiting for the senior debut, the chance. Yeah. yeah. So he wasn't ready to come. I can totally understand as a player. But but after that, when he didn't get a chance for the senior team, and then that's the time, of course. And it was he will still be good, even if he don't get a chance for the English team. It will still be he he would have helped. But the good example is Arata. Arata has given his passport. Mm. Yeah, given up the password, and then he played for India when Wim Kovman was the coach. So th- there, no, I don't think not many will do it, but there are people who are ready to do it. So there was one player, uh, play uh, here in uh, in in uh, uh, in Morocco. He played for two years. Williams, William, he has been trying to 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 get up Indian passport so that Aussie, he can Aussie play for the national team. Aussie player, yeah. Aussie player with Indian, trying, yeah. with the Indian yeah, grandfather. Yeah, yeah. He 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 had a good two season uh, here yeah. with with Neroka. Even they came second once. I think he has been trying. He he's his level best to get a passport so that he can play for India because his mom uh, is an is an Indian. 
नहीं हो रहा सो सो दिया नहीं हो रहा सो ही ट्राइड इज बेस्ट फॉर मेनी मेनी मंथ्स ही वाज ट्राइंग विलियम गुड प्लेयर ही वाज ही वाज ट्राइंग सो इट बेसिकली आप क्या कह रहे हो कि अगर आप इवन इफ यू आर रेडी टू लेट गो ऑफ योर पासपोर्ट एंड यू आर रेडी टू टेक अप इंडियन सिटीजनशिप तब भी बहुत मुश्किल हो रहा है बिकॉज़ असली अर्चन जो यूरोप में बैठा है से डैनी बात बैठा है वो तो अपना पासपोर्ट ही नहीं गिव अप करना चाहेगा ना मैं तो ये कह रहा हूं पर यहां पे अगर आप पासपोर्ट भी गिवन अप करना चाह रहे हो तब भी थोड़ा मुश्किल तब भी तब भी मुश्किल हो रहा है there is a difficulty so you yeah know, because how, again how, you have to then fulfill the criteria like chopra was saying hmm. right ki aapko 5 saal uninterrupted yeah. india yeah. mein rehna hai yeah. aapko taxes jama karne hain etc etc there are many so, rules and regulations i think which is very very difficult like abhi pandit said no abhi people some people are not ready to give up the passport but here one or two players or three players are ready to give up their passport like uh, like arata did and still finding it difficult रेडी भाई ये माइकल से भी हमने बात करी थी जब आप प्लेयर ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन को बुलाओगे विल योर ओनली क्राइटेरिया बी दैट ही मस्ट बी बेटर आई एम जस्ट सेइंग अगर वो पास हो गया दैट ही मस्ट बी बेटर देन द अदर प्लेयर इन द इंडियन टीम और बिकॉज़ ही इज कमिंग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड देन इट शुड बी अ कैप लेट्स से प्लेड द प्रीमियर लीग प्लेड इन द चैंपियनशिप प्लेड इन लीगा ओनली दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ प्लेयर यू विल वांट और यू यू विल बी रेडी टू अट्रैक्ट एनी प्लेयर कमिंग फ्रॉम एनी लेवल ऑफ योर सीन इस कर बिकॉज नाम से भी सपोज उसने बहुत आगे खेल लिया इन हिज प्राइम उसके पास अभी पाँच साल छः साल के बाद वैसा गेम नहीं रहा है एंड जस्ट नाम में साइन करना दैट्स रॉन्ग एंड अगर आप कैप रखोगे तो आप दे आर वेरी गुड प्लेयर्स हु कैन ईजली फिट इन इन द इंडियन टीम बट उसने बड़ा लेवल में नहीं खेला है एंड आई थिंक कोच शुड सी इफ इज गुड इनफ और इफ इज बेटर कॉल इन फॉर अ ट्रेनिंग फॉर टू वीक्स थ्री वीक्स ए मंथ and see how good it is is it better than only but ab agar sirf club mein ho itna itna bada club mein khela and we don't know if he's still good or not good right so current performance dekhkar i think we should judge on that fair enough aur agar aap agar aap se aap coach ho uh, aur aapko mm-hmm. player of indian sorry yani agar aapko mm-hmm. pio bulana hai to mm-hmm. which is the position you would really look for striker you need that and, 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 and so, so now we as we all know that indian striker abhi missing hai because we are indian striker hardly get a chance to play mm. or indian stopper even though indian stopper is also one big yeah so we need we we have already spo- uh, i have talked about this before so it's not only but any play in any position if they are better first thing we we should sign mm. yeah and second we know that there are two a uh, stopper stopper backs and uh, strikers and we know that we really need And 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 one good attacking midfielder, but but any players who are better, I think they should. So also, I want to ask from inside, right? Because one thing we are saying, we are saying from one perspective that if you allow it, then let's say government has changed all the rules, changed dual nationality is allowed, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. anyone who has an mm-hmm. Indian grandparent can play for India. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One is that maybe today nobody from the domestic league will then make it to the national team. Except maybe one, two, three players: Sunil Chetri, Sundesh Jhingan, Gurpreet Singh Sandhu, like we uh-huh. talked about, right? Uh-huh. That's one element to it. But secondly, doesn't it then create a like a pressure on the domestic league to then come up to that level? That ki ap apna domestic structure strengthen kare, dhire dhire. Of course, usme time lagega, uh-huh. right? so that जो आपके क्लब के प्लेयर्स हैं ईस्ट बंगाल हैं आप मोहन बगान हैं बैंगलोर एफ सी हैं दे शुड ऑल्सो बी रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द नेशनल टीम बिकॉज इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ प्राइड राइट एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे इफ मैनचेस्टर यूनाइटेड और लिवरपूल और टॉटनो मॉटस्पोर्स और एनी वन से दैट हमारे पांच प्लेयर नेशनल टीम में वर्ल्ड कप स्क्वाड में हैं इट्स इट शोज दैट आपका सिस्टम स्ट्रॉन्ग है आपके जो जो भी आपका ट्रेनिंग प्रोसेस है वो अच्छा चल रहा है तो डू यू थिंक दैट्स आल्सो अ केस लाइक अगर हम टीवी लेवल पे कंपेयर कर रहे हैं सम पीपल आर वाच यू आर गोना वाच आइदर द प्रीमियर लीग और यू आर गोना वाच द आईएसएल सो देन डोंट वी आल्सो हैव टू कम अप कम अप टू दैट लेवल यू मीन दैट द आई लीग प्लेयर्स और द सेकंड डिवीजन प्लेयर्स दे शुड आल्सो अ बेटर फैसिलिटीज यू मीन इन टर्म्स ऑफ या बेस्टिंग एंड स्टफ बेटर बेटर कोचिंग बेटर व्हाटएवर ओवरऑल वी कांट लुक एट इट जस्ट की आप आपका जो क्लब स्ट्रक्चर है वो अलग है और हम नेशनल टीम प्लेयर्स कहीं और से ले आएंगे नहीं 
फॉरनर बन गया की मैं जी खूब रहूंगा और मैं अलग रहूंगा जैसे हम अभी बात करते हैं कि जब आप क्लब साइड में खेल रहे हैं अगर आप एफ सी गोवा में खेल रहे हैं तो जो आपका वीक इन वीक आउट जो ट्रेनिंग है क्लब के साथ दैट इज टू प्ले अर्टिकुलर स्टाइल ऑफ फुटबॉल फ्रॉम दे यू गो टू द नेशनल टीम कैम्प यू आर ट्राइंग टू प्ले डिफरेंट स्टाइल ऑफ फुटबॉल right yeah so, similarly if you are if you are playing at manchester united let's say you have a one mm-hmm. one like many countries have had ek suddenly mm-hmm. superstar aa jata hai jo bahut bade mm-hmm. club ke liye khel raha hota hai whatever right but 11 mm-hmm. people ya 15 people wale game mein uska impact itna nahi ho pata hai because wo tab bhi wahan superstar bana hua hai yeah but that, that's a coach, coach decision you know superstar to maintain that, that that's a decision for the coach uh, man management and at the end of the day i yeah. i feel yeah so but i can understand that the national team coaches they don't get enough time to make the players gel you know, yeah. that that's the difficulties they are facing everywhere in the world but the structure of of european league are so good that even though if they, they don't get a chance but but things are getting better here also but but it's a difficult uh, thing to whatever you are saying to maintain फिट हो रहा है आप बाहर से भी तो देखो ना स्पॉन्सर्स एआईएफएफ सब दे विल जंप ऑन द बैंड वैगन क्योंकि इस बंदे के नाम के बरबूते पे वी कैन सेल सो मच मोर चाहे नेशनल टीम हो वी कैन फिल द स्टेडियम अप प्रेस विल हवर अराउंड द नेशनल टीम अ लॉट मोर आर्टिकल्स पीपल विल टॉक अ लॉट मोर अबाउट द नेशनल टीम देयर द ओनली थिंग इज दे हैव टू मैनेज बेटर एंड देखना पड़ेगा व्हाट आर द प्रोस एंड कॉन्स ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग दोस काइंड ऑफ प्लेयर्स So it and has, I have, guess, it has to be like evaluated on a case by case basis, right? Yeah, okay. but but that's how that's where the scouting people who can you know I'm I'm sure scouting comes in. You know, you have to send those people. Yeah, if if we find that if we see that there are good players, you know, in uh, somewhere in the world, and then you have you cannot say that oh, video they are yeah, good player and no, but you have to send someone there and see every weekend or see every month. Oh, how he's progressing enough, and are they are is he ready? Can is he uh, is he ready to play uh, the the style of game what the coach want? You know, these are, are many things. Uh, I think. देखना पड़ेगा अब ऐसा नहीं कि हाँ वो अच्छा खेलता है या इधर आके खिला लिया. But you have to bring in for one month. Then Gurpreet को एक एक महीना Anwar एक एक महीना लाया camp पे रखा Bohauten ने. उसके बाद घर भेजा. उसको direct team में नहीं लाया. महीना लाया दो महीना फिर घर में. फिर लाया third fourth month को फिर गया. You 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 have to adapt to the system. As I say, oh, there are one or two very good players who are ready to adapt, and there are some good PIO players who are not ready to adapt. So you you take time and you have to uh, spend a lot of money on flying out here people to see them the game. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, these are other actual practical elements. I'm glad you brought it up because mm. if you mm. look at how much a national federation spends, now uh, you look mm-hmm. at a, uh, India, everyone assembles in Delhi. and then the whole team flies yeah. from delhi and flies back but you look yeah. at a team like spain they might have 20 yeah. players coming from 20 different locations right yeah. 
So yeah. just in terms of planning the travel of that team, how much more staff does that require? Yeah. What is the additional yeah. cost of all these flights? Who is willing to bear yeah. this? I mean, this is this is very yeah. basic, just travel, right? But this applies yeah. then across the board to uh, all kinds of things, uh, you know. Yeah. What are the allowances for these uh, these players to like yeah. spend their time if they are leaving their club? Right. If let's say a player agreeable be hai, oh, uska club coach kyun usko chodega to come and play on a on a shitty ground in India where the chances of injury yeah. might be very high, where he doesn't have confidence in the medical yeah. staff, etc. etc. Yeah, even even the travel, India the travel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have the travel of going and coming. So After time, have, like, time difference. Back and next week, you have to do the job for yeah. for your club side, which where you are probably yeah. getting. Or or ये भी तो है रणदीप भाई एक एक team environment में. Suppose आपने yeah. कहा कि हमारे बड़े मुकाबले आ रहे हैं. तो जनाब mm-hmm. आप आइए यूरोप से. तो वो आपको he'll join you at whichever location. Yeah. And I know the way a team works. And चाहे आप जितने भी बड़ी team हो. Uh, there mm-hmm. will be murmurs within the team saying कि यहाँ पे ये हम लोग यहाँ पे camp में लग रहे हैं दस पंद्रह दिन बारह दिन. ये जनाब आ रहे हैं दो तीन दिन पहले सो दैट कैन क्रॉस फैक्शंस विद इन द टीम एज वेल या एंड दैट्स वेयर कोच एंड मैनेजमेंट प्ले अ वेरी बिग रोल हाउ यू यू मैनेज हाउ यू ब्रिंग दैट गुड कैमरा देयर बिटवीन द द प्लेयर्स इट हैपेंड इन द पास्ट राइट इवन द केम अभी छोटा छोटा क्लब का वो आगे जाएगा 15 दिस इज अबाउट 20 20 25 इयर्स बैक राइट जो छोटा टीम का है क्लब का है वो 15 20 दिन एक महीना से लग रहा होगा प्रैक्टिस कर रहा होगा यहां से बड़ा बड़ा क्लब का अभी नाम नहीं लेना चाहिए वो आके दो दिन में सिलेक्शन करके चल होता था यू नो बट 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 नाउ आई थिंक थिंग्स आर डिफरेंट नाउ पहले होता था लेकिन हाँ दो दिन आगे सिलेक्शन करके चला जाता था और जो पंद्रह बीस दिन से जो है वो रह जाता था बट नो नो आई आई थिंक आर डिफरेंट नाउ कैन आस्क यू बिकॉज बिकॉज व्हेन वी आस्क चोपड़ा दिस क्वेश्चन या अबाउट लाइक इफ यू हैड टू पिक अ ट्वेंटी थ्री मैन स्पॉट हाउ मेनी व्हाट परसेंटेज और वट वुड बी इंडियन प्लेयर्स एंड व्हाट परसेंटेज वुड बी फॉरन प्लेयर्स Mm-hmm. so uh, you are saying that only there may be two three foreign players who are at that level in your opinion brother uh, for me is uh, until and unless i see no pio can, first i have to see pio pio is better i will bring them all together if any pio is interested they should come in train and you should see of course the coaches should do the the study how, how mm. they have been playing for last 3 4 years or what's the injury and status and stuff and bring them all together sometimes we are, we get a, a month training and you will see agar ground mein aane par there is no there you won't be saying that ha ye pi ho hai pi because you will see the game yeah. if i if if it's given a chance i will see kon acha khel raha hai and i will not see opi hai do ko pick karna zaruri hai na 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 so you will see the best players if pi is better let the pi play if it's not better anywhere from kerala from punjab anywhere whoever is better should play पीआईओ का ये नहीं रहना चाहिए पीआईओ शुड बी द बेस्ट देन यू प्ले अदरवाइज नो रेडी भाई एक एक आखिरी सवाल आपसे पूछना है इस पे क्योंकि यू ट्रैवल्ड अ लॉट ऑल ओवर यू प्लेड गेम्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड एंड यू आल्सो ट्रेनड इन प्लेसेस लाइक बल्गेरिया एंड सो ऑन सो सो यू नो सो योर आपका ऑफ कोर्स यू सीन अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्लेयर्स व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस व्हेन वी आर चेजिंग से अ गुड पीआईओ व्हाट विल ही ब्रिंग टू द टेबल एंड एंड आई एम टॉकिंग इन प्योर फुटबॉलिंग टर्म्स Uh, what you are saying is a player what do i see in them uh, yeah like a top, the, uh, if, if say if we get a top quality pio yeah what what will they be adding in to the team in terms of quality on the field what what, what are the basic simple, quality simple that you expect ba- basic quality is that they what, whatever we have the the players we have right now as a coach coach will know where we are and coach will know kahan kahan par add on karna zaruri hai of if anywhere with striker may agar if we need striker or if we need stopper and if the pio is play um, is better it's playing better than what we have then why don't we take it that will always be a, a big bonus for the indian players it doesn't have to be uh, we see that oh he is good in of course he has to be good in speed and stuff but any player like i said who, if they are better why don't we why don't we bring him 
basic qualities like movement in the box kab bhagna wo sab time lagta hai so, so no movement in the box that you spent you have, first of all yeah, you have to spend 15 20 days 15 20 days or a month you will be able to see how, how, what type of first thing is what's your idea how do you want to play mm-hmm. and second thing is it, it, that, that who are we playing against is he really fitting in so say example against bangladesh We 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 had we had a tougher match than Qatar. Qatar, I think everyone played well as a defensive voice, but mm. against Bangladesh, we couldn't even break once. Mm. So so what what do we need? We need a player uh, with good good touches. We need a player who we can break in. Mm. Bangladesh ke paas ham log ne ek bhi to beat nahi ke ek corner kick mein hit one ball tak Sunil ka miss hua. Mm. So ah. so we need so if if we have a good striker good touch say for michael, so for example michael chopra we know that mm-hmm. what a good scorer what a good touch inside the box he has got yeah. so if you were have been there or a creative midfielder we need more creative midfielder that they the we in as a indian we are struggling a lot but against qatar uh, we were we were we were flying we are defending and we are going on counter attack but we seen It's that like, what type of we need creative creativity players go if any pio has got the type of creativity who can who can uh, cut through those uh, blocks i think why not but it's like it's like agar agar aapne michael sorry but just just so last thing agar aapne michael chopra ko se aapne draft in kar bhi diya peak michael chopra aur aapne kaha sorry michael but hum target man wala game khelte hain so then michael chopra ka kaam hi nahi aayega na matlab uska game nahi hai so here comes in how we want to play Here comes in what what's the coach idea uh, play ab agar aap aap bada khel rahe to we need we need tall bada player uh, 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 number 10 and uh, number 9 straight up front and he will fight for every ball yeah. like like we used to do before but i uh, this coach he want he want to play from the back and that, that's how coach have to see ha uh, mera kya hai mera idea kya hai what's my philosophy according to that you bring in the players All right, so a massive thank you to both Renadi and Michael Chopra, wherever they are. One is in Imphal and the other is in Jakarta for joining us and for giving their personal experiences as well as a wider perspective on some of these issues. Of course, PIOs ki baat aur Indian football ki baat 420 grams pe to jari rahegi. Uh, abhi ke liye vidha lete hain.